Hi, I'm Carrie, and today I'm going to do a show and tell review and you'll also see how to use this little guy. It's the Disney Spellbound Beauty Sponge found at Walgreens. So let's watch. And yes, I did purposely try to look like Snow White today because for this demonstration, I'm using the Rimmel Stay Matte Mousse Foundation. There you can see how the sponge picks up foundation and how it presses it onto my skin. Rolling and patting motion helps the sponge not to over apply any makeup. It also helps to blend it out. The claims on the box are, the Spellbound Beauty Sponge creates a lovely finish to all complexions. This uniquely shaped Beauty sponge can be used with both liquids and creams. The pointed ends of the sponge work perfectly in hand to reach areas such as the inner corner of eyes and nose. The base of the sponge works well for all over blending. I like the ability to be able to flip the sponge and I just sort of roll off any excess and blend it up into my forehead, onto my ears, and down my neck. In my opinion, this sponge blends beautifully. Whether it's a cream product, a more moussey texture product, or something that has the consistency of like chocolate pudding. Any one of those, I've tried it with. I have used this sponge with all three of those foundations. Every time I did use it, I really liked the, the finish that I got. I think that it helped really sort of boost, elevate, make the foundation its best in all three cases I think it just worked really well to just bring out whatever the foundation claims to give I feel like the sponge helped really give it that that being said I can see some wear and tear on the sponge I'll show you now do you see the little cut there I'd only noticed one at the beginning of this um, video and just in the f last few moments you can see another one is forming this is, oh. I think those little marks, those little beginnings of holes might be where my nails may have dug into it when I was pressing and then it sort of just um, gives way under my nail. I'm not making excuses for the sponge and I wish it wasn't doing that and it honestly makes me feel like it becomes less and less worth $10 because although it it makes my skin look great and really brings out the best in each foundation. I just wish it wasn't doing this and this. For as long as it stays one whole piece, I will keep using it and maybe even when it breaks, I might still try to use it as maybe two separate sponges or something. But that is just something to be aware of. If you and if the implication of the box is that you can look like a Disney princess by using this, then yes, I want to look like a Disney princess. So yes, I fell for it and I bought the Disney Spellbound, Spellbound Beauty, Beauty Sponge. Sponge. It works really well. It works really well. It works really, really well. It does. So I think it's worth it to use it for as long as you can. Um, and maybe it is because of my nails, or maybe it's because of the way that I use it that my nails are really causing these, um, these little cuts there. Hard to say. Maybe it won't happen with your sponge. If you have ever tried this, let's talk about it. It would be nice to talk to another person out there who's tried it. Thank you so much for watching. Maybe it wasn't my shoulder pads, or the review, or the content, or my personality, but something I hope was in here that you liked. If you did like anything at all I'd appreciate a tiny bit of feedback that really only takes one click of a button on your behalf so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you do that I'd really appreciate it if you want to see more of my videos instead of having to research me just push subscribe and I'll pop up by the magic of YouTube right in your subscription feed and then we can do this again Hi ho, hi ho, thanks for watching my video.